All right, thank you. So, Jeremy, you get this question, you can end the night on a, a question, and I, again, it's a combination. Uh, and I'm going to invert it. Is health care a right? And uh, should all people have access to the same health care that you all have in the legislature? Okay, health care as a right would be a new concept in the United States of America. I think the first thing you need to do is you define, need to define what is a right. Uh, you know, we hear things about the freedom of speech as being a right, so the right to, care, uh, to bear arms as a right, um, the right to assemble, and, you know, the list could go on. One thing that you'll note with all of those rights is that they don't cost somebody else any money. So my freedom of speech does not cost Kevin here any money. It doesn't cost anybody in here any money. My right to bear arms does not cost anybody else any kind of monetary value whatsoever. So if you're going to start ascribing rights to things that have monetary value to them, you are essentially forcing other people to pay for your rights. And that's what's going on with health care. Now, that's, this may be the direction the American people have decided to go. Now, I, I voted on a bill in the legislature last session to uh, cover pre-existing conditions, which is one of those things that people say health care is a right are, are saying is a necessity, because I think we should try to do that. But to take it as a right uh, goes beyond the definition that I have always understood a right to be. Uh, and so I... I am not interested in saying that I have a right to health care, and then because I have that right, everybody else in this room has to pay for it. Uh, that is not a concept that we should be applying across the spectrum in the United States. And I can tell you right now, if we're going to start looking at health care as a right, what's going to be the next thing that's going to become a right also? I, I prefer to stick to rights as the things that we find in the United States Constitution. Thank you, Jeremy. Kevin? Well, the answer is yes. We have a right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. In my opinion, uh, having your health care covered in a developed nation where we can, I think we do have the right to health care. And we certainly should have access to the health care that the state legislature gets. You know, they're taking care of their coverage, but they want to stand there and say that, that, uh, that you're not. I think that's wrong. I think it is a new concept, as Jeremy said, to the United States, but it's not a new concept to the world. There are developed nations in every hemisphere that have done this, and they've done this successfully. They didn't collapse into some kind of economic downturn, um, and we won't either. And we're moving in that direction. People understand that we can, will, and should be taking care of each other. What, what greater purpose does government have than to pursue the life, liberty, and pursue happiness and protect each other because we're capable of doing it. Some people don't have to go without so that somebody else can go with. And for me, that's, that's the simple answer. I mean, healthcare can, should, and will be a right for everyone. Hey, thank you.